21st of November 2022. First up we have Lafroig and they are presenting their fourth and nearly finest book of the Ian Hunter the edition number four. This time book number four is Mold Master and that shows you the um, yeah, engagement of the molding floors at the distillery. The bottle is 43 years old, 46.2% ABV. Hmm, sounds good. It's very expensive but people are really really keen on buying that. Let me tell you that. Then we have a little bit of our yeah, personal change at Balvenie, at the Balvenie. Kaslev McKechnie is the new Malt Master. She was already Malt Master Apprentice uh, since she was 26, and now she is following David C. Stewart, and she's now the youngest uh, woman to ever carry that title. Then we have Lindoris Abbey, the new distillery. Um, because yeah, back in the very, very, very beginning, they distilled whiskey there. The Cask of Lindoris is the new uh, edition. It's the third edition of a small series. It's Oloroso Sherry Butts, and it's 49.4% ABV, and yeah, no chill filtration and color. Then we go to Springbank. Yeah, there are not that many news from Springbank, but they do have the first of their new series called the Springbank Sherrywood PX Cask Matured 10 years old. It's exactly what you think, and it will start in the UK, and after a little while, it will come also uh, in the other markets. Yeah. Next up is the Smokehead. And the Smokehead is uh, working together with Mexico. So they are going with uh, the Tequila Casks Terminado. It's um, mainly matured in American White Oak. And then they got a finish in X Tequila Casks. 43% no chill filtration or color. Next up is like an, a little bit of an art um, thing going on with the Macallan. They're bringing out an eight minute film, The Spirit of 1926. That's about Janet Hab Habringson. And she is the yeah, former distillery manager back in the day. And she is um, yeah responsible for the very, very expensive auction of the most expensive whiskey auction of the McKellen Fine and Rare 1926. Up in the very, very north of Scotland, we have Wolfburn and they are celebrating a Christmas edition. Uh, the Christmas edition 2022 and they're calling it Let It Snow. Lightly peated, 46% ABV and yeah, unfortunately just 2000 bottles. Then we have news from down down very south in the uh, yeah, region of England, <laughs> in England, um, the Diageo company is investing into the Oxford Artisan Distillery. It's one of these yeah, innovative distilleries. It's an English rye whiskey distillery. We don't know how much they invested, but um, yeah, they want to get information and technology out of that joint venture. Then we move over to the new yeah, new world in Canada, the Crown Royal bringing something very, very new out, or let's say old out. And it's not one of these mixtures with any blah, apple or something like that. It's a 29 year old Crown Royal, 6,000 bottles uh, worldwide. And up till now, it's their oldest bottling. Yeah, hopefully the Crown Royal is getting a bit of a turn to the more premium because they can actually. They are not that bad. Uh, then we go into the international sector and MacMira brings out the Ambassador. Limited to 3,166 bottles. It's a Swedish uh, yeah, bottling, uh, cas uh, uh, yeah, uh, bottling strength of 48.8% ABV. And they are kind of modified uh, yeah, barrels. You have a normal ex bourbon barrel as the uh, side and the lids are actually made of Swedish oak so a little bit of a regional touch going on. Talking about regional touch on the other side of the planet we have the Pocano distillery which is a yeah, 
the three from New Zealand and they having three new core ranges, the Pokino Origin, Pokino Discovery and Pokino Revelation. And they are really, really focused on like regionality and yeah, so they actually distill, mature and also bottle at their yeah, in, the, in one country, they don't ship it anywhere else. And yeah, they are now available, hopefully, not quite sure if they're available always, uh, everywhere internationally, but around here they are. So let's have a look if we will have one or two on the cask. Yeah, that was it for this week. Thank you very much for watching. And see you next time.